If you're looking for a place to go and find some trophies, this is the place to be in the charge of trophies. If you're on Xbox and need some game to score, come over here, I'll help you get some more. My name is Ken Z Retro, the host of the show, gaming news and reviews and all you need to know. Because the weekend is finally here at last, sit back, relax, enjoy the Trophy Achievement Podcast. Hello, my fellow Latter-day Saints, Kenzie Retro, the woman entertainer here, the most inspirational woman in all of Asia here, back once again with your Easter weekend getting underway the only way we know how, the Trophy Achievement Podcast, the best place for all the latest gaming news, rumours, and of course, those sweet points and trophies. Oh, goody, 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 gumdrops, this is definitely going to be... This is definitely going to be fun today. Be- uh, let's see. Um, yeah, yeah, I've got pretty much everything. We've got pretty much everything uh, sorted. Uh, we've got uh, No Man's Sky getting a, an update. What? Um, we'll have details on that update. Uh, there's. Um, Mark of the Ninja getting remastered. We're going to have details on that as well. There's a comic series for Life is Strange that's been announced. So we'll have all the details regarding that. Um, Red Faction Gorilla also getting remastered. Oh, we mars <laughs> I see what they did there. Very clever. Uh, uh, bad news if you want to save money and get those third party Nintendo Switch docks. Uh, yeah, you might want to be careful regarding those. Uh, and of course, that most wonderful time of the month, it's the Battle of the Free Games. I managed to get my PS Plus back up and running to take advantage of this month's PlayStation Plus games, which were Bloodborne and Ratchet and Clank. Those were the two big titles. And uh, let's see if they can level the series heading into April's games with April's free games. And in the points and trophies section of the show, we have got the trophies, the secret trophies to be exact, from Far Cry 5, which just came out earlier this week. And that's all coming up today on the Trophy Achievement Podcast. Before I get into the news, as always, a big shout out to my good friends over at Boomerang Rentals, the best place to rent your games. Packages start from as little as $3.99 a month. Sign up today, get a 21-day free trial, and you get three free game rentals before your subscription begins. And not just that, you can keep the games as long as you like. There are no late fees, or you can keep the games forever at a discounted price from the online store. That is boomerangrentals.co.uk, the best place to rent your games. So before we get into the news this week, uh, the the major news this week, uh, let's see what EA screwed up this week. Let's all laugh at an industry that... Hmm, hang on a sec, hang on, hang on. Try that again. Let's all laugh at an industry that... Something's not adding up here. Are you sure EA haven't screwed up this week? Play it one more time just to be sure. Let's all laugh at an industry that... Oh my word. Oh my word. No screw-ups from EA this week. Hallelujah, they didn't screw up this week. Everyone grab two of each animal and head for the border. Oh, for once EA didn't screw up. Congratulations, EA! Have yourself an Easter egg. I mean, come on, relax, guys. I'm not that callous. I'm not that evil. Guarantee EA you're going to screw up on my birthday, which would not surprise me in the slightest. It would not surprise me if they screwed up on my birthday. Uh, And also, uh, what I've had on the channel over the course of the past week, uh, I had a music cover up earlier in the week. Uh, Then I did two reactions to the 
previous two episodes of The uh, Walking Dead, those are up on the channel right now. Uh, I had a second attempt at trying to crack Pac-Man World for Throwback Thursdays, but that funhouse level, it's evil! It used to be a funhouse, and Namco filled it with evil clowns! <laughs> And uh, like I said, and uh, and uh, as a little Easter treat for you guys, uh, Sinful Saturdays back tomorrow with another episode of Everything Wrong with Tom and Jerry. And not just that, there is also a second Everything Wrong with Tom and Jerry episode this weekend. That's right, I'm going to have one on Easter Sunday as well. I'm feeling generous. I am your Easter Bunny for this weekend right here on the channel. So I thought, why not give you two Sinful Saturday episodes? One of them is going to be on Sinful Sunday, which is meant to be um, full of uh, saint-like activities, but that's beside the point. The fact is, you're getting two Everything Wrong with Tom and Jerry episodes this weekend because I'm feeling generous and I am your Easter Bunny for this weekend. So have fun hunting those Easter eggs this weekend. I might try and hunt some down this weekend as well. I just need to find an Easter egg hunt that's near me. But in any case, enough jibber jabber about what's going on this weekend. Let's get right into the news. And No Man's Sky has been announced for Xbox One with the next new update coming in the summer, including Xbox One X enhancements. Well, so much for No Man's Sky being a PS4 exclusive, eh? Now <sighs> let's see. Hello Games has announced that its open universe space exploration game No Man's Sky will be available for Xbox One this summer. Previously only available for PS4 and PC, No Man's Sky will come this summer to Xbox One with Xbox One X HDR and 4K enhancements. 505 Games will be publishing a physical version of the game worldwide and the Xbox One version will come with all the major updates to the game. Foundation, Pathfinder and Atlas Rises on day one. Additionally, this summer Hello Games will release No Man's Sky's next Next, <laughs> next, no man's skies, no man's sky. Next, the next major free update. To, I'm saying that's oh my what? How does that even? How, how do you even fathom that one? Next, uh, next, N E X T. Yeah, the next major free update to the game. Next will also be available on day one for the Xbox One edition. The update is free for all existing players and is according and is according to Hello Games the game's biggest update so far. Uh, little is known about what next will include, but the logo for the update for the update viewed above includes the logo for the mysterious Wear platform. As fans of No Man's Sky's ARG may know, Wear Tech Cloud is seemingly connected to the game's ARG, as the website has been connected to the ARG's Waking Titan Phase 4. Hello Games delivered one of No Man's Sky's biggest updates. Delivered one of the... Blah. They really need to... They really need to check these typos. I said, Hello Games delivered one of No Man's Sky's biggest updates last year with update 1.34 Atlas Rises with added new story content, the joint exploration online co-op mode, and much more. At the time, IGN took a, a look at whether the Atlas Rises update was worth returning to No Man's Sky for those players who may have lapsed. As IGN's initial No Man's Sky review said, it reaches for the stars but falls short by light years. It's amazingly big, but too often poorly designed. Hmm. I say, I say PS4 exclusive. I mean, so much for it only being available on PS4. If you're going to have a game that's going to be available on one platform only, then keep it on one platform only. Don't go multi-platform just for the sake of it. My friend James and I were talking about this last night, where, um, uh, what was it? Where, since the Xbox One, uh, see, the, I see the Xbox One is on 
fire right now. I'll say both the Xbox One S and One X as well. Since they since they released, well, since they launched, they've been on a wave of momentum, taking Sony's crown. <laughs> Microsoft stealing Sony's thunder. His words, not mine. And not only that, he also told me that Call of Duty for Modern Warfare is now finally backwards compatible on Xbox One. I'm looking to my left. I'm looking to my right. I'm looking up. I'm looking down. I'm looking all around. And nobody cares! Because they've already done the remaster, which begs, which begs the question, why do the remaster in the first place? Why have... Call of Duty, f why have Call of Duty 4 being remastered when you've got a perfectly good original version that is now backwards compatible? People are gonna get rid of the remaster and get the original! <sighs> well, I guess that's Activision's screw up of the week! Maybe I should actually change it to, rather than it being EA's screw-up of the week, it should be the gaming's screw-up of the week. I'll change it to that. I shall change it to the gaming screw-up of the week. So, this week's gaming screw-up of the week is... Let's all laugh at an industry that never learns anything, tee hee hee. Activision making Call of Duty 4 backwards compatible when they already have a remaster out which should not be necessary anymore because you've got a perfectly good version that was released 11 years ago! And the gameplay still hasn't changed since 2005! We're in 2018! Change the gameplay for once! Either that's Activision, or take a break from Call of Duty, let it wither away, never be seen again! There's my screw-up anger out the system. There is my screw-up anger out of the system. <sighs> now, on lighter notes, however, a uh, superb stealth game Mark of the Ninja is getting remastered. Well, and they have a teaser trailer for it as well. So, unsurprisingly, I am going to be watching said trailer. Waiting pending. Ooh, I made it. Okay. Ha <laughs> 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 Brilliant! That is very good. Fuck off. On all platforms as well. Mark of the Ninja Remastered will freshen up one of our all-time favourite stealth games later this year. Develop, according to developer Clay Entertainment. That's K-L-E-I. A standout even among Clay Entertainment's sterling repertoire, Mark of the Ninja originally released in 2012. While And while it's cartoony art has aged well, Clay reckons it could do with a tune-up, so for the remaster, they're targeting fully redone 4K visuals for both gameplay and cutscenes, along with enhanced audio and new particle effects. Everybody's jumping on the 4K bandwagon these days, which does not surprise me. The remaster will also come with content from Mark of the Ninja's Special Edition DLC. That includes a new level, two items, and a suite of non-lethal takedowns, and a heaping helping of developer commentary. Hmm, interesting. Clay hasn't shared much else on the remaster, but in a follow-up tweet, the studio did note they're working out reward paths for existing players, depending on if they own the regular games, versus also owning the special edition. So it's possible existing Mark of the Ninja owners will receive some sort of discount or in-game compensation. I would imagine they'll get a discount. The only logical thing to do is to give them a discount. Because, I mean, look what happened with Ori and the Blind Forest, one of the most critically acclaimed indie games of all time. And it's easy to see why. If you've got the base copy of the game, you can upgrade to the definitive edition for like two or three quid extra. Oh, 
Right. So, anyway, uh, let's get back to business. Uh, Life is Strange comic series announced. Fantastic. Let's get... The... Let's get the details on that. Return to Arcadia Bay, Arcadia Bay with a new comic series from Titan. So Titan are doing this series. Excellent. Right. The publisher Titan Comics has adapted some of today's biggest video game franchises into, into comics recently. Let's have a look at what they've adapted. Let's see what they've adapted. So I can get a rough idea as to what they've done. There we go. Alright, so what have they done? Um... Ah, so that's what they've done. They've got uh, Batman, Doctor Who, Family Guy, Heroes, Nemi, Superman, 2000 AD, the Vertical Comic Book title Sandman. Sandman? Would that be? Would that wouldn't happen to be part of the Spider-Man franchise, would it? Uh, no, it's actually some Sandman from DC. There's a Sandman in DC Universe as well. What, what, what? Simpsons, Star Wars, Tank Girl, The Real Ghostbusters, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Transformers, The Walking Dead. Ah, yes, The Walking Dead comics. I need to get around to reading those. Roy of the Rovers, WWE Heroes, and World of Warcraft. Everyone stay with us now! Alright, thumbs up! Let's do this! Leave all Jenkins! Alright, oh, thumbs up. Ready, guys, Let's or... do this. Leroy Jenkins. Oh my God, he just ran in. The opportunity was there. The opportunity was there. Uh, right. So, publisher Titan Comics has adapted some of today's biggest video game franchises into comics recently, and now another popular series will get the comic treatment. In the near future, this time, Titan is partnering with Square Enix to release a comic line based on Life is Strange, which is set to debut later this year. Launching with a four-part miniseries in 2018, Titan Comics Life is Strange returns readers to the setting of Arcadia Bay, offering fans the opportunity to dive back into the story of its beloved characters. Titan announced the publisher also provided an image of Blackwell Academy, which will presumably serve as an important setting in the Life is Strange comic. You can take a look at that as well. Now, let's get this. There we go, that's what it looks like. And my word, it looks fantastic. Right, let's get back to business. Titan hasn't shared any additional information about life. The Life is Strange, it bleh. Titan hasn't shared any additional information about its Life is Strange comics, so we don't know who will be writing and illustrating the series. More details are expected to be announced soon, Possibly during C2E2 next week in Chicago. Life is Strange is a, an acclaimed episodic adventure game. The first title released in 2015 and re revolved around the story of Max Col Caulfield. Who discovers she has the ability to rewind time. Ah yes, rewinding time to change the events of the past. Doc Brown, been a while since I've called on you, but... Can you kindly elaborate on what happens when you rewind time? The encounter could create a time paradox, the results of which could cause a chain reaction that would unravel the very fabric of the space-time continuum and destroy the entire universe! Yep. Nothing's changed from that one, thank you very much. It was followed by a prequel called Life is Strange Before the Storm, which takes place three years before the original and focuses on Chloe Price. The final episode of Before the Storm, Hell is Empty, released back in December last year. In addition to Life is Strange, Titan has published comics based on Assassin's Creed Origins, Wolfenstein 2, and Bloodborne. Most recently, Titan released a comic inspired by Sea of Thieves, and one based on Dark Souls is slated to debut in May, ahead of the game's remastered edition. Dark Souls Remastered coming to the Nintendo Switch as well. And oh my word, 
This is going to end well. Well. Where are they going to go from here? Where are they going to go from here? Right. Let's see. So, Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered releases in the, in the second quarter of 2018 with first details and screenshots. THQ Nordic has announced a remastered version of Red Faction Guerrilla, which will be released which will be released in Q2 2018, which will be between April and June. Red Faction Guerrilla Remastered will featured will feature fully reworked graphics, heavily reworked textures, and graphic features, adding, for example, specular maps. In addition, this version will come with improved shadow rendering, improved lighting and shader, and post-processing rework and native 4K support for the finest up-to-date Mars destruction experience ever. In order to showcase these new graphical environments, THQ Nordic released the first screenshots for this remaster that you can view below. There we go. So that's... Ooh, I'll give them this. It does look good. Mm. I can still use a couple of tweaks regarding the rendering because it. I'm like, oh, that's how it's meant to look. Right, okay, that's fine. The only small drawback is for me, it, it feels like it's something out of the original Mass Effect game that came out back in 2007, which is. See, that's, that's, what, that's what I'm comparing this to. I mean, oh, hush my mouth. Well. And we've come full circle. Who'd have thought Nintendo would have some bad news? Third party Nintendo Switch docks are reportedly bricking consoles. That's not a good sign. That's one of the drawbacks of getting third party items. There's the risk of things like this happening. So here we go. If you're currently using an a third party Nintendo Switch dock, particularly ones with Nyko, you should properly prob you should probably stop. Kotaku reports that third party Nintendo Switch docks are bricking consoles following Nintendo's recent 5.0 Switch firmware update. Kotaku cites several sources from Reddit and Nintendo's own forums reporting that since the most recent numbered update, Switch docks from Nyko, Fastsnail and Insignia are causing system errors. These errors range from rendering the consoles unable to turn on to losing all save game, game save data. Oh, good grief! Nothing worse than losing all your game saves. Oh, that is brutal. Both Nyko and Nintendo have responded to Kotaku, confirming that they were aware of these issues. Specifically, Nintendo su supplied the following statement. Unlicensed products and accessories do not undergo Nintendo's testing and evaluation process. They might not work at all without game systems, and they could have probably they could have compatibility problems with certain games. The Switch system itself and other licensed accessories and peripherals. Essentially following one of its own Switch system updates that has rendered several consoles inert after they came in contact with these third party docks. Nintendo is asking you to only use its own dock accessory. Naturally, this isn't cheap, costing around 89 US dollars, 79 British sterling pounds, and 129 Australian dollars. Whereas most third party docks call for far less cash. Here's hoping that Nintendo soon releases a more compact, sensible, and less 
egregi egregiously expensive docking station for its immensely popular console. Sadly, something tells us we shouldn't be we shouldn't hold our breath. Well, I wasn't planning on getting a third I wasn't planning on getting anything third party anyway. Because the only third party things I'm going to get from Nintendo are their third party games. And no, that doesn't include EA! Now... Here we go. It's the Battle of the Free Games for April 2018. So, let's see what we have for the Xbox One and the Xbox 360 as far as back as far as free games are concerned. On the Xbox One, we have The Witness, which is a puzzle game, and the Assassin's Creed Syndicate. The last Assassin's Creed game before Origins came out last year. I can't believe if I knew the witness was going to be back, if I knew the witness was going to be free, I'd have saved myself about thirty quid because I've already got it on PS4. But hey, any excuse to get more, any excuse to get more achievements, I suppose. <laughs> and uh, on Xbox 360, Cars 2, the video game, oh, that'll be a good, hey, good one for the kids. Actually, the witness could work for kids as well because I mean, if kids like puzzles, the witness works for them. Cars 2, the video game, I mean, nice one. 72% on Metacritic as well. Nice. Witness got 86% and Assassin's Creed about 78%. Hmm, interesting. I mean, I've already got a few Assassin's Creed games free. Um, I mean, I've still got I've still got Assassin's Creed 2, which I still need to get around to finishing. Um, and by finishing, I need to getting that ever so famous 1,000 Gamer Score! Oh, that, can, that never gets old. That never gets old. So, and, uh, ooh, Dead Space 2. Oh, goody, it's an EA game. <laughs> I'm, well, a free EA game. I've already got the first Dead Space. Still haven't completed it yet, but can you blame me? Right, so that's Xbox's games. Now let's see what Sony have for PlayStation. What do they have? Have. They have got Mad Max, Trackmania Turbo on the PlayStation 4, PS3, In Space We Brawl, Toy Home, 99 Vidas, and Qbert Rebooted, cross by with which is available on PS4 as well. So, a Qbert game with Mad Max and Trackmania Turbo. Trackmania Turbo I already have on Xbox. Nothing wrong with having a copy on PlayStation, I suppose. Um, Qbert, that's pretty good. I mean, Mad Max, mm, nice, a big AAA title. I should have done Sony first because they were the ones that won last month. Not that it would have made a difference because this month goes to Microsoft. So Microsoft are 3-1 up in... The Battle of the Free Games for 2018. Now, a shorter version of the podcast than normal today, but nevertheless, it is time for the best part of the show, and it goes a little something like points and trophies, trophy achievement hunting, points and trophies, trophy achievement hunting. <laughs> yes, it's the points and trophies. And this week, in honour of Far Cry 5 coming out, don't worry Sony fans, I've decided to go for trophies this week instead of the achievements. Nevertheless, here we go. Uh, these secret achievements are available, uh, are able to be achieved if you go through the solo campaign only. Now let's see, uh, we have... Um, uh, let's let's fix this because we need to um, there we go 
that's 12. I'm surprised we don't have any regular gold trophies. Because the gold trophies are actually in the secret section. Anyway, the bronze trophies. The bronze secret trophies, I should add. The bronze secret trophies are as follows. Walk the path. Discover the bliss. Solo campaign only. You'll be hearing me say that a lot in this. So, the spark. Complete the game intro by liberating Duchess Island. Solo campaign only. Special delivery! Ensure a baby safe passage into this world. Solo campaign only. Saving Sheriff Whitehorse. Save Sheriff Whitehorse. Does what it says in the tin. Solo campaign only. Saving Deputy Pratt. Save Deputy Pratt. Is his first name Chris by any chance? <laughs> Solo campaign only. Now on to the silver trophies. You are wrath. Be deemed the sin of wrath. Solo campaign only. Only you. Successfully complete the first trial. Solo campaign only. Blissful. Save the marshal from the bliss. Solo campaign only. And we have the secret gold trophies. Together to the end. Get to the end. That's what it says in the tin. Solo campaign only. And saving Deputy Hudson. Again, that's what it says in the tin. Save Deputy Hudson. All together now, solo campaign only. And those secret trophies will help you towards getting we have, a, we always had faith in you, which is basically obtain all the trophies to gain the elusive platinum trophy. If only I could reverb that. Ah. <sighs> Anyway, here, anyway, and that is it for this week's edition of the Trophy Achievement Podcast. <laughs> so, if you have any gaming news you'd like to me to report on, sound off in the comments below, and I will definitely take the news into account. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be doing anything next week, because next week is my birthday week, so uh, I'll be back on the 9th with as always a good old music cover and then two for Tuesdays um uh, I should get back into Cuphead at some point yeah uh so I'll be back on so after my uh, Tom and Jerry sins this weekend I will be off until the 9th because like I said it is my birthday so I will be celebrating my birthday all week long so with that in mind if you enjoyed what you saw hit the thumbs up and if you want to continue and if you um, want to be baptized into our following, hit the. <laughs> I really need to work. I really need to. Work. And if you want to be baptized into this channel, hit the subscribe button down at the bottom and click the bell to join the Latter Day Saints notification squad. Uh, on the left, you've got my uh, reactions to The Walking Dead, and on the right, you've got my dedicated trophy achievement podcast playlist. Like I said, Tom and Jerry sins this weekend, and then I'm off until the 9th because I'll be celebrating my birthday, dancing the night away on the weekend of my birthday as well. But don't worry, I'll be uh, keeping you guys posted on what I get up to during my birthday. So, um, yeah, uh, I'll have that. I'll have that. Um, um, I'll, I'll have my uh, birthday, I'll be reporting on my birthday escapades when I get back. So, anyway, with that in mind, I will see you guys again very soon. Have a fantastic day, peace out, and stay faithful, and happy Easter, everybody.